This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at video compression basics inside Apple Compressor. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to compress a file for social media. Notice that these top seven options have a blue icon, and these options down here have a gray icon. The blue icon indicates a job action has been applied. We're going to compress the file, then do something to it. We're going to compress the file based upon the settings here, and then we're going to publish it to YouTube or Vimeo or Facebook or burn a DVD. So to apply this blue setting, grab the whole setting, the, the title itself, and drag it on top of the clip. This will compress the file at whatever image size it is. This is a 1080 image. This is a 1080 image, so it will compress it to be a 1080 size. But notice this warning. It says, okay, you want me to not only compress the file, but you want me to publish it to YouTube. So what do I need to do? I need to know what my YouTube login settings are. So I select this and go to the job menu and scroll down. And at the bottom is a thing called action. It says, when you're done, I want you to publish it to YouTube or Vimeo or Todo, which is in China, or Facebook, or all these other options. This is what happens to the file after compression is complete. With Publish to YouTube, I need to add my account sign-in and the necessary metadata. When I click Start Batch, it will automatically compress the file and transfer it to YouTube. This is a real time saver because it means that I simply click one button and the process happens automatically. One of the people at the 9 o'clock does sports. He says, I cannot tell you how important it is to get stuff done quickly. So doing this job action means that you can queue up a whole bunch of files, have them tr compress and transfer in the background while you're busy doing other stuff in the foreground. It's the absolute fastest way to work. I, however, prefer to compress it, look at the compressed file, make sure it looks okay, then transfer as a second step. But my deadlines are different than, say, a sports or news person's deadlines would be. Whether we're doing YouTube or we're doing Vimeo, again, notice login and metadata information, or Facebook, again, logging and metadata information. We just need to specify that. When this form under action is filled out, the yellow warning will go away. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at video compression basics inside Apple Compressor. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 197. By the way, membership is a great value. If you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,400 movies, hundreds of hours, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.